Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to the Unfiltered Brew Blog. Right now we're going to be looking at different types of brew methods. There's two main methods of brewing. Uh, one would be the extract brewing and the other would be all grain brewing. There is no major difference to the type of brewing that you do. It's really personal preference, uh, but we'll go ahead and explain what the uh, differences are and, and why there's a personal preference to them. Really the only difference in either one of these brewing setups is the way that you acquire your sugars from your grain. So in all grain brewing, uh, you would generally have to go through your grains first and you would pick the type of grains that you have and then you would have to put them in something like this, which is a grain crusher, and crack open the husks uh, and crack open the shells. And after you do that, then you can uh, steep it in your water at, at whatever temperature that it requires and have a starch conversion which will pull out the sugars from your grain. Now when you go to extract brewing that process has already been done for you through the malt. So the malt will take the grains and then they will process it so that the starch conversion has already happened and then uh, it will create this uh, syrupy mixture like this that you would just uh, skip that step of steeping your grains that you would normally have to do in all grain and you would just pour this directly into your uh, pot. There are two different ways that you would get your malt. Uh, it can come in a syrup um, or it can come in a powder such as this. When you do either method the flavors are uh, not necessarily different. Some people think that using extract uh, brewing is going to have less flavor than uh, all grain brewing because of the fact that it is an extract. When you're doing your brew, the idea is that you're gonna do it in a smaller batch in one pot and then uh, dilute it down with water later to uh, come to whatever uh, mark that you would be hoping to as far as uh, gallons. And uh, that's, that's not true as far as the flavor loss because both extract brewing and all grain brewing have both won awards for the type of beers that they're made. Where the difference that comes in um, with extract and all grain is that there is less options for uh, flavors. So the all grain, the malt that you choose um, is going to be a lot more limited as opposed to the options that you can make with the grains because grains you can take different types of grains and, and different uh, species of grains and mix them together to create your desired color and, and flavor profiles along with your hops that you would mix in during the brewing process. The downside to brewing with all grain though is that you need a little bit more of an investment to get brewing. You, uh, for example, would need to have your grain crusher and you would need to move to an all grain setup which would require more uh, pots as well as more steps in the brewing process. Uh, additionally, you're going to have to deal with a lot more weight because the all grain system is not, uh, the all grain system is not diluted. You're going to make as much grains as required for the amount of, of your end product. So if you're making five gallons, you're going to use maybe 10 to 15 pounds of grain um, which is a lot more to deal with than just having to dump these two little guys into your pot and move on with. During brewing day, the all grain uh, system is going to require more steps, which means it's going to be a longer brewing process compared to the extract brewing, um, which is essentially skips that step of, of your starch conversion. It's usually preferred for new brewers that they would start with extract simply because of the simplified process and less steps in the brewing day which uh, allows the brewer to get more comfort and and control other variables that they may not want to worry about um, in a more advanced setup. Additionally with the extract brewing you can brew with less equipment uh, usually with just a pot and maybe a uh, a, a bag so that you can control your hops in and that should be all you need to to brew with uh, as opposed to an all grain system where you're going to need um, a lot more equipment. Although the all grain system requires more equipment, the benefit is that it gives you more data points to control uh, the different variables throughout your brewing process. So for example, if you 
had some off flavors in the brewing process or maybe your specific gravity didn't come out as much as you hoped, you can go back to the uh, processes that you hopefully recorded during the brewing process and identify specifically what area of the brewing that the uh, problem occurred. The downside with extract brewing is that they tend to cost a little bit more uh, per brew per batch uh, as opposed to the way that the all grain would, would cost. So if you're going to brew uh, over and over again and plan to do it as a long-term hobby, then uh, investing the money into something like a, the all grain setup would be more beneficial because long-term it's going to be more expensive to brew with the extract style. However, it's a great place to start. Um, the only caution that I would have for you if you are using extract brewing is that when it is time to pour in your malt um, on brew day, make sure that you turn off your burner first so that you don't burn your malt as it goes into the pot. Uh, not only would you might mess up your flavors for your beer, you might mess up the pot that you use as well because the uh, malt will get burned into the bottom of the pot and you'd have to scrub it out with a, uh, a bristle. So first thing that you would do uh, when it is time to pour it in is turn off your pot, not having an exposed flame at the bottom. Then you would pour in your malt. It's gonna sink right to the bottom. So you're gonna wanna stir it up until it dissolves. And then once it's all dissolved and fully saturated, then you can go ahead and turn your burner back on and bring it up to a boil. Thank you for watching the Unfiltered Brew Blog. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing uh, or liking my videos. Thank you.